Try not to give up on people so easily. When it comes down to telling people about God and doing right by them, I know that it may really be frustrating to try to continue to tell people about God when they are not really adhering to you. For instance, there is this woman off and on. I have been trying for four years or so to try to get this woman to come to God. And you may say to me, Kevin, four years and you are still trying? Think about this, man. What if that person goes to hell? That woman is going to wish that more people came to her and told her about God and tried to get her to change. Wouldn't you? Imagine burning in hell. Imagine the people who are being tormented in hell now. They are going to wish that more people would have agitated them to try to get them to come to God. Think about that. So those people may be speaking to you in a crazy way saying, hey, just respect my choice to not serve God and, you know, don't push God on me and stuff like that. No, push God on them. In some cases, you have to push God on them. I know that what some people may say that, hey, you should dust your feet off and stuff like that. Yes, you can do that. But what I am trying to say, look, man, people are going to hell. And if you had any visions or dreams about hell, man, even with those visions and dreams, it does not show the entirety of hell. So if what you have been shown is bad right there, imagine how it really is to live in hell. So why are you going to say to me that I should respect their choice to choose. No. If pushing a person is going to potentially get them to accept God, so be it. If pushing your children to serve God is going to save their soul, so be it. So push it on them. Don't say, well, you know, when I was a child, my mom or dad pushed me to serve God, so I don't want to do that with my children. No, you push God on them because the devil or people are pushing the devil on people, right? Hey, I want to serve God. I don't want to, I don't want you to push the devil. I don't want you to make these sinful TV shows. I don't want you to curse or whatever around me, but they do it anyways, right? So people are pushing the devil on you, right? By doing sinful things and having sinful conversations around you, right? So, hey, you should push God on them. Yes, you can dust your feet off, yes. But, look. We only have one spirit. Once we die, that's it. Some people need to be carried. Well, Kevin, you know, I don't have time. I have my own problems. Yes, I do too. 
but some people you have to carry so that they can come to God. Of course, they have to choose, but some people you need to hold their hand with them, which I do with some people. If that is what it takes for them to accept God, so be it. Let me hold their hand. Let me carry them. Let me be there for them so that they can come to God. So what am I trying to say? We need to push God more on people. Like I said, many people are pushing the devil on people, right? Telling people that they can do whatever they like, they can be homosexual, they can do whatever, they can have sex before marriage. They are pushing all of these ideas on us. So they are pushing the devil on us when we don't want it, per se. So why not push God on them, even when they don't want to hear it? That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. So I pray that this makes sense. Don't give up on people so easily. We need to push and push and push. For instance, this one guy that I used to speak to or call every day and speak to, this guy was calling me these names and stuff like that even after spending so much time with him. Am I going to give up on him? Of course not. I may not speak to him every day, but I am not going to give up on that person though. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.